what's up hello my name is Nikki today we're going to be talking about how to learn any language at any time anywhere so you have decided to start a journey on learning languages and this is pretty awesome first of all I want to congratulate you given the fact that you actually decided which language you want to learn let's get this video started I want to know before starting that everyone learns differently and interprets and memorizes things differently if this video doesn't work out for you don't freak out there are definitely so many other ways to start learning languages first up you get started don't freak out the first and foremost the number one source you have but sometimes we're not using it correctly is YouTube YouTube is bait you can type any sort of language and find millions of videos based on that language. Portuguese, basic phrases. Norwegian, basic phrases. Hawaiian, basic phrases. You can also learn the alphabet from YouTube, which is much faster for me. I can't spend 70 pages learning an alphabet that I can't even hear how every letter is pronounced, so I'd rather learn it through YouTube. Once you've realized that you like a language, learn it. Don't stop learning it because someone says it's not useful or your friends don't like it. Believe me, every language is a gift and there's no way it will go to waste. Sticky notes. Sticky notes everywhere. Just write the new word you learn, stick it right onto your wall, see it every day, and believe me, you'll memorize it before you even realize it. Study at least five minutes per day. This is really, really, really important. Learn the first 100 to 300 basic words of the language because they're literally everywhere. In the streets, in basic conversations, listening, speaking, you'll need them everywhere. When you actually don't have time or have a very busy schedule, the best thing is to actually download apps that will help you progress through the day. Apps like Lingo DR, Duolingo, Memrise, Forgo are just a few of the language learners' favorite apps. HiNative.com will save you and something else on you whenever you have questions. Literally, it's such a lifesaver. Disney is your friend when it comes to learning languages. Listen to Disney songs, watch Disney movies, you already know the plot, you don't have to focus on the story, just the language that you're listening to. Invest in notebooks. Every language should have its own notebooks. Find the notebooks that works for you. You want it colorful, with spirals, without spirals, with uh, stars, with glitter. Invest in books. And I'm not talking just about books, as in books. I'm talking about course books and even freaking magazines. You don't have to have physical copies of every language, but what you can do is actually search on the internet, find your favorite PDF, what works for you. PDFdrive.com is an amazing website where you can download course books, textbooks, etc. for free. Change your settings to your target language. I have erased a ton of stuff when I changed my settings to Turkish. But I learned a ton of words, so why not? Not a fan of saying this, but Netflix is kind of your friend when you're learning languages, especially if you change the subtitles or even the people speaking in the current language you're learning. You're getting accustomed to conversations and how everyday speech goes. If you're doing that, just please grab yourself a notebook and write down all words you don't know, really useful expressions or something you heard and really liked. I hate to break it to you, but usually one hour per day doesn't really work. Do you remember in school you used to learn French, German, Spanish, Italian, etc. and now you don't remember a single thing of that language? It's because you did two, three hours per week and there were a lot of days in between those studies. Languages require repetition. Another one and very very important one is you're going to say a lot of stupid things. All you have to do is accept it. We have all made mistakes while speaking a foreign language, and that's okay. This is the funny part of learning a language, as long as the president is not in front of you, I mean. Podcasts. Podcasts are um, a hella important. So basically, audio conversations of the language you're learning, listen to it, repeat, and believe me, you get a lot better. I get like 20, 30 new words, which is really important. I get new patterns, which is also really important. Another one is make friendships with people that are learning the same language with you, or are native speakers of the language, or even date them. Believe me, those people will actually motivate you and push you to start learning more. When it comes to actually learning a new word, try to use it as soon as you learn it. So for instance, I'm learning the word shi, which means supermarket in Chinese. Chances are that I will forget that word in the next five minutes. So what I have to do is actually incorporate that 
word in a sentence. 我今天去啊、uh, 朝圣 The language learning journey has its ups and downs. There will be days that you'll want to study for hours until night, until late night, and there will be days that you'll say, "What the heck am I doing with my life?" These are phases we all go through, and it's fine to go through them. Everything is fine, even if you have kind of like frozen and you don't know what to do. It's okay. Find what is it that motivates you to continue learning that language. So that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you out. If you have more questions, you can definitely ask me in the comments down below or on my personal Instagram, Nikki underscore underscore ninety nine underscore. And I guess I'll see you in my next video. Peace out.